and a very good morning to you people. I know it's been a while since I posted. Um, I've been sort of moonlighting elsewhere as a general mechanic. Uh, won't be doing that for long. Just need someone needed a hand and it's been about five weeks altogether, six weeks. Uh, meanwhile, I've been doing a little bit of work on the, on the car on the weekends, uh, Saturday morning. Um, and I've come downstairs to fix a mistake I did, which I'm not too happy about. And I really, really couldn't figure it out before I did it. But the handbrake cables are 20 millimeters difference. And I will show you in a minute. Uh, the length on each side. So when I put the diff back in and reassembled the rear hubs and uh, Which I'll show you in a minute and um, I looked at the uh, handbrake setup and I thought ah oh, well Left hand side of the car is longer distance to the handbrakes The longer cable 20 mil should go on that side. Well, it didn't work out that way It was the other way around because the actuating mechanism hangs over more to the left of the car so the shorter cable should have been on the other side that was a big bird flying past anyway uh, we've got a beautiful sunny day here in wellington uh what have i done so far i'll take you around and show you um and then i have to sit there and pull the uh rear drum brakes out i'll do that right now in the front of the car i've got my setup all done i think you might have seen this before but I've got my conies in, adjustable conies. Coming back to the car, I've done nothing else to the car. It's basically all ready to go for painting once I've finished the suspension. Um, this is the rear end, which I'm gonna have pretty much brief today. I've temporarily just undone those, my calipers, and I should take them right off. I've run the brake pipes and I've realized that I should run them through that hole there. But uh, these are just, they're going to come off and I'll reroute them. I'm not worried about that. That's the easy fix. I've got to take these drums off and get the handbrake assembly to change these cables. And ironically, when I assembled it and put the new boots in, and the cables in there, one of the boots was so frail that it disintegrated. And when I ordered the, the rotors, uh, for the back, I says to Wesley from uh, Classic Alpha, I says to him, by the way, blah, blah. And he's put one in the kit when he sent them over as a present, I suppose. And um, it was an omen that when I got it, I thought, no, I'm not going to change it over. I'll let it be like that. And uh, it came over. And it's sitting in a box of spears here. Yep. Yeah. So... <laughs> perfect opportunity to put it back in i'm not looking forward towards it but i suppose it's just a mental thing i mean it was easier when it was up on the bench when i reassembled all the the rear brake shoes um i also have overhauled by master brake simplicity at its best and the clutch one and they look very much the same but that that's the clutch because it's a single output and um, this is the the master cylinder i got approved um brake lines which i made the rear ones and i'm gonna go back to work now hopefully i haven't bored you too much and um we'll get cracking back into this car because on Sundays, I can't really do much on Sundays. I've got a radio program and it takes a little bit to prepare for it. And I go and do that. So, go and do something. Mow the lawns, wash the house, wash the wife's dishes. Do something. Don't sit around. Okay, good to see you all. Until we meet again. Ciao.